Hello everyone. I'm going to attempt to make a video and keep it relatively well done. Um, I no longer take the time to edit my videos. I've been doing videos for my bunnies, so I've just been talking. And so we're just going to do the best we can. Uh, for many, many months, I have been drooling over those cabinets, those beautiful crafting cabinets that open up and have multiple places for things. And they have like a table that folds down and extension tables and all these things. And they're just gorgeous. But my budget just doesn't allow for that. So I also saw on Pinterest where people were taking television cabinets like this one and turning them into crafting cabinets. So that's what I'm talking about today is this cabinet. Uh, we've had this one for 20 years from way back when we had one of those televisions that was very deep. And so these uprights used to be, this is what I'm talking about here. This used to be over here, um, this way, enough room for CDs. We had like a, there was a rack in there. We had CDs in there. And then the large centerpiece was for our center section was for our large TV, and then we had uh, VCR, DVD, tuners, tape deck, too, <laughs> down there in the middle, and then, uh, you know, space for extra things in there, movies and photo albums and whatever. It also has doors, which are not on it right now. I took the doors off. I took everything out of it that I could before we moved it in here. And I've been slowly transforming it. Um, the other videos that I made, you may have seen I had behind a little cubby system. It wasn't very tall, but that's where all this debris is from. All these little trays and things and bundles. These pieces of shelving here are from that. These here. Um... So I'm repurposing them into here. Uh, so I haven't had to cut too many shelves. I did go and I bought this. This is a shelf pin jig. This is what it looks like. It has attachments to go on either end. So you can kind of hold it against the edge of your wood and drill straight. Um, I've already used this to go up. The interior front and back of each side here and here which makes room for my shelf pegs and then I'm doing it to the center as well um, I've started here you can see I do take a little bit of sandpaper and I rub it up and down along here that's why it's kind of scratch looking but there's a lot of little splinters and things that come out this here peg comes with the shelf pin jig and it helps hold it in place when you are getting ready to drill so I'm ready to drill the next five and it just sits against the back here so when that is done I will be able to make adjustable shelving in the center as well I went to um, uh, wood supply store and they were able to cut some MDF for me and so I'm going to have shelves going up the center as well when this is done this will be all shelving throughout to fit whatever I decide to put in there and then the doors will go back on it and I'll be able to close it and it'll be organized hopefully my goal is to be able to put up a part two to this video where I've purged and organized and uh, figured it all out here um, what's on these shelves. I've just kind of shoved some stuff in there willy-nilly because basically this stuff was all over the floor and all over my guest bed and as you can see my crafting table is covered and everything under and over so it's quite a mess in here right now but I'm looking forward to having this done. I'm just kind of poking at it uh, a little bit every day. It is dusty. Um, 
I have been wearing my glasses and uh, a mask too because the sawdust is making me cough <laughs> and um, and we're in COVID so I got lots of masks and uh, well here just to be funny there I have a place for my Hogwarts castle now so I'm quite happy about that because you know I got that for Christmas and it's a 3D model and I didn't know what to do with it. I just love it. But there, it's got a home now because this thing is so big and so deep. And um, yeah, see it goes. It's a good 24, 25 inches deep. So it's going to take up a little more space than the cubbies that I had there. But it's taller, so it's a more efficient use of space is my hope. And I will hopefully be able to clear out some of the debris that's just kind of hanging around in the house. Um, I think I'm babbling now, but there we go. So this is my latest project for organizing and tidying up my house. And so, yes, I would like to post another video when it's finished. And, um, and then I probably will not wait till I paint it. I, I'm hoping to paint it when it's warm out and I can open my windows just white, just to spiff it up. Anyway, again, I think I'm just rambling now. So <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I just wanted to share this, this idea I had. And I know a friend of mine was talking about doing something similar and, and she knows that you can buy these cabinets now for cheap because people aren't using them anymore because the TVs aren't as big and um you know but I bought this one it's real wood and it was like six hundred dollars so I'm happy to repurpose it um into something that doesn't cost me four thousand anyway so there more rambling anyway um thanks for watching and have a great day